Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how I cut my hair without taking too much length. Actually right now I'm doing a challenge with the rice water, so I don't want to cut my hair too much so I can see the real result of the before and after. Two weeks ago, well, a little bit more than two weeks ago, um, I tried the rice water and my hair did grow one inch in two weeks. So I'm trying to grow the nape of my hair. So this part, I won't cut it so we can really see um, the real result in like two, two weeks again. There's a name for the technique that I'm going to use, but I'm not a hairdresser. I just do it in my hair myself. So if you want to try it, it's at your own risk. <laughs> but it works for me and it's a good way to just clean out your hair without taking too much length. So I'm using this scissor. I think it's from Goodies. I bought this um, two years ago, but uh, it still works pretty well. Make sure you use a scissor to cut hair. Don't use um, any random scissor that you have in your house because it's gonna do more split hands, so don't do that. Uh, so what I do, usually I start to section my hair. like this so what I do is I use three fingers I use the middle one um, in the back of my hair just to hold the hair and then uh, I secure my hair with the two other ones so I'm just going to do a close-up so you can see what I'm going to do while I'm cutting my hair. I'm going to put my hair between, between my two fingers. Then I'm going to go uh, down slowly. And every single hair that I see when I go slide, when I slide down, I'm going to cut it. The thing is, we have split hands not just in the ends of our hair, but in the length too. So these techniques help to um, help to cut some split hands in the length, so it doesn't get worse. As you can see, I'm not cutting a lot. Um, it looks like I'm doing nothing, but trust me, this is awkward. Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, trust me, it does make a difference. Like I, uh, my hair it's bleached and. I should probably cut like a lot more to the length of my hair but since I'm doing the rice water challenge I don't want to cut it now um, but when I do this technique I feel like my hair look more healthy and it helps my hair to um, not get too much split hands so I do that all over my hair once again I'm not cutting a lot um, I don't think you can see, but where my hair is bleached, I have a little bit more split hands, so I just make sure I cut them. Sometimes I twist my hair so I can be able to see if I have more split ends uh, to the length. This time I didn't use this technique, but you can use both if you want. Let me know if you tried this, if it works for you, or if you have another technique you use um, to clean all the split ends in the length of your hair without taking too much. Thank you for watching. Bye, Johnny.